Aren't Amber Heard's lawyers supposed to defend her? Well, Mr. Rottenborn makes us believe otherwise. He accidentally revealed something so controversial it might turn this case upside down. And it's already the closing arguments. During trial day 24, Amber's lawyer was talking about the finger incident. We all know what happened during that. The celebrity couple had a fight and Amber threw a vodka bottle that exploded on Johnny's finger, causing its tip to be severed. Majority of the witnesses have recalled these exact events, but Amber and her witnesses have another story. To them, Johnny had that injury because he kept smashing a telephone out of anger. There are no photos of a smashed phone though, only an unbroken whiny. Then today, Mr. Rottenborn claimed that days leading to the finger incident, Johnny was with Marilyn Manson doing the unspeakable. EX353, all but the bottom right one, are in the days leading up to this, where he's on a drug-fueled bender. He's hanging out with Marilyn Manson, he's getting drugs from his assistants who are enablers. And then the one on the bottom right, you'll remember, you've seen a couple times, this is after he chopped his finger off when he says, need more cocaine. Johnny apparently had Amber by the neck when they were in Australia. He said that he was throwing bottles and smashing the landline, like what we expected his statement to be. He's throwing bottles one after another and I could feel glass breaking behind me and you've seen the evidence of that. And he was just over and over again, smashing the phone into the wall, screaming at me as she watched it break into pieces. Now, she doesn't know how he lost his finger. He adds that Johnny and his team are just trying to deceive us. They tried to put that picture in front of you with the desk phone and suggest that that was it. It's deception. They're trying to deceive you. He began to show photos of the mirror Johnny reportedly wrote on with his own blood. Next morning. This is what he wrote with the bloody stump of his finger. And there he said this is irrelevant. Even if Amber chopped Johnny's finger off with the axe, this has nothing to do with the fact that Johnny abused her or not. What happened to cut the finger off? But frankly, it's irrelevant to your deliberations here. Amber could have chopped it off with an axe, and it has nothing to do with whether or not Mr. Depp abused her. But we all know she didn't. We all Whoa, did he just stray away from what he was trying to prove? What does he mean by that? It seems like they basically admitted that she did something. Perhaps she was the reason why Johnny's finger was cut off. This isn't the first time Mr. Rottenborn embarrassed himself in court. He actually objected to his own question. It could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kibber told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection, Here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. Oh. Next question. Okay. Amber's other lawyers have had their fair share in doing embarrassing things in court and will never forget them. What if objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation? Do you rec do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. Um That's all for now. Thanks for watching.